Good evening, folks. How are you doing? I hope we've all had a, a brilliant day or night, depending on, obviously, when you're watching this. It's night time here, and we had our tea a couple of hours ago, and this is what we had. I was meant to be doing the Scottish square sausage recipe, but I didn't actually. I forgot to get the rusk. So I'm popping down to the butcher in a wee while and I'm going to pick up the rusk and I'm going to do the square sausage tomorrow. But I thought I'd just pop this up as well, a sort of wee bonus video because this is what, I, you know, as I said, this is what we had for tea tonight. I made a whole chicken in the slow cooker and it's so so easy you just basically pop it into your slow cooker and put a wee bit of a rub on the top and you leave it simple as that it'll take four and a half hours on high or if you want to leave it longer you can leave this for eight hours on low and the latter is by far the best method the longer you can give this the better it's going to be I mean, this is absolutely fall apart tender and it's so so juicy it just melts in your mouth wonderful and then the juices that the chicken leaves behind in the slow cooker makes an absolutely amazing gravy as well so yeah if you want to follow along as usual all the ingredients will be listed in the description box down below so this is what i'm using if you want to follow along with this wee recipe first of all you're going to need two or three onions which are going to half two teaspoons of onion powder you can use whatever root vegetables you you know that you like i've decided to use turnip but i do sometimes use carrots You'll also need a whole chicken. The one I used was around about one and a half kilos. You'll need some olive oil, half a lemon, five cloves of garlic. We love garlic. <laughs> two teaspoons of rosemary, two teaspoons of paprika or cayenne, three teaspoons of salt and one teaspoon of either black or white pepper. I'm using white pepper but it doesn't matter just use whatever you've got you know it's the same any of these herbs or spices feel free to use whatever you enjoy this is just what I use so I'm just going to obviously show you the way I do it yep so let's move on and see what's next So like I said, this is the chicken that I'm using and this one is just around one and a half kilos. This will feed four people generously and you'll still have some left over for some sandwiches and things during the week. So the first thing you want to do is get your slow cooker on and pop a wee bit of water into the bottom. I've set mine on high because I'm going to give this one four and a half hours. So the first thing you want to do is rinse your chicken. Now, once you've rinsed your chicken, you want to pat it dry with some kitchen towel. It's just so that when you put your oil and your rub on, you know, it doesn't slide off. And then into the cavity, you want to pop half a lemon, or you could even pop an onion in there if you like. I just like the combination of lemon and chicken. I think it's lovely. So half a lemon, and then I'm also going to pop in five garlic cloves as well. You just want to keep these whole and those, fla those flavours are going to infuse your chicken and give it a lovely, lovely taste. And then you're going to get your rub together. Like I said, feel free to use whatever you like. But I've started off with two teaspoons of dried rosemary. And to that, I've added two teaspoons of onion powder. One teaspoon of white pepper. Three teaspoons of salt. And two teaspoons of either paprika or cayenne. And you just want to give this a mix together. Just make sure it's combined nicely you want it to go into your chicken evenly. So grab your chicken and you want to rub on some olive oil just to give your rub something to stick to. You don't need too much, just a wee drop. So we're going to be adding another wee bit once it's in the slow cooker. 
I just like to do this wee step first because you can get right into all the nooks and crannies. And it's a wee bit more difficult to do that when it's, you know, it's in the slow cooker. So like I said, pop a wee bit of water into the bottom because you, do, you don't want your slow cooker to be bone dry. And then you could pop in some of your root vegetables. You just want to create an even layer. You're just making a wee bed for your chicken to rest and recline on. <laughs> and then you want to use two of your onions, or you can use three if you like. I've just used two halved onions. Again, the flat side down, just for the chicken to lie on. And you could pop your chicken on top of them. You just want to go back in with another wee drop of your olive oil. And just sort of pat that into your skin. And then you just want to grab your rub and pop that on top. Just, to, you know, just as ev evenly as you can. And you want to give that a wee gentle rub in. You don't want to rub it for too long or rub it too hard because you don't want it all sort of disappearing and going all clumpy. So just a quick wee rub. And then if you like, you can use the rest of your vegetables and just sort of put them down the sides. And like I said, this is going to leave you with the most amazing, you know, base for your gravy. Once it's ready at the end, I'll just uh, put, you know, and I lift the chicken out, whatever's left in the slow cooker, I'll just pop into a sieve and drain off the juice and I will use that for my gravy, just with a wee bit of corn flour and water to thicken it up in a wee saucepan. So like I said, leave this for four and a half hours on high, or if you want to leave it longer, you can leave it on for eight hours on low and it's much, much better. You know, like I said, the longer you leave it, the better it's going to be. So I'll pop in again in about four hours, we're about half an hour away, just to see how it's getting on. So yeah, so I'll see you soon for that. So this is us now four and a half hours later and that's the chicken now ready. And you know, the smells in this house are unbelievable, <laughs> as you would imagine. And doesn't it look fab? So you just want to lift your chicken out of your crock pot and just set it to the side and cover it in some foil, just for 10 to 15 minutes. By the time you've done your gravy, if you're making a gravy, this will be good to go. I just like to try and make a wee gravy up and in that way, you know, you're, you're not wasting as much, nothing's getting, th well, not as much as getting thrown out. So what I like to do, I like to make up a wee bit of thickener. Now this is just two teaspoons of bistro powder mixed with two teaspoons of water, or you could use corn flour. So go back to your crock pot and you just want to sort of mash down the veg that you've got. And grab yourself a saucepan and a sieve Pop that onto a medium heat and just dump everything into your sieve and sort of push it through with a big spoon or a ladle. You just want to try and extract as much of that lovely juice as you can from your veg. Like I say, pop it onto a simmer and then you can add your thickener. Just use as much as you want. You might not need all of that. I just ended up using half. And this was thick enough. So you just want to give that a wee simmer for five to ten minutes. And it'll reduce a wee bit and thicken up. And it'll turn lovely and velvety. It's so rich. So by now your chicken has been sitting a wee while. You know, it's still warm. You just want to do what you want with it. So like I say, I like to start slicing the breast meat at either side. And then I'll go and take the legs and the wings and all the kind of things off. I don't actually, it's only the, the breast meat that I actually like, so. Mr. What's for tea get the legs? <laughs> so I just served that with some new potatoes, some buttered cabbage and that lovely chicken at the side there. And some of that beautiful, rich gravy. And this was awesome, it really, really was. The flavours in that chicken, I mean, you could taste the, the garlic just at the background and you could taste a wee hint of lemon. 
then all the lovely flavours that have penetrated the chicken from that lovely spice rub. Definitely worth a go if you're a fan of chicken. Not something we have very often. We do prefer red meat, I must admit, but it's nice for a wee change. And it certainly, it feels a lot healthier as well. So like I say, this is just a wee sort of impromptu video. I wasn't planning on popping this up. I was just going to make it. But since I'm not doing the sausage till tomorrow, then uh, I'll show you that when I do that. So thanks again, guys, for coming over. It means an absolute ton. You know, I love to read your comments and I like seeing your wee comments time and time again. And I do try and respond to as many as I can. So until I see you next, mind to take care of yourselves and I'll see you soon. So bye for now. Bye now.